what happened, mind your business, okay? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, well, of course this series is my Ayurveda series. Uh, I'm trying to start a healthier hair journey. So I wanna start incorporating herbs and like plants and that's the same thing, ain't it? Anyway, I wanna start incorporating stuff like that into my hair care regimen um, to see if I could get any more growth and push my hair to the limit because I know they say it's based off genetics but I just want to test something out okay it don't it don't hurt to do that but I just want stronger healthier hair I feel like my hair could improve and could do better than what it's doing now it's not doing bad but I feel like it could do better so um, I'm starting this Ayurveda series I'm making most of my stuff homemade you could buy some stuff but I prefer to make it homemade and it's cheaper that way in my opinion in this video I'm going to show you guys how I whip this little I don't know what to call it I don't know what to call it yet so let's not make this long intro and I'm going to show you guys how I whipped it up okay you guys so I'm going to give a little insight on why I chose each ingredient so shea butter it's a natural conditioner and it's a sealant Coconut oil, it penetrates the hair strands for moisture and is packed with fatty acids. Apricot oil, it softens the hair strands, the hair shaft, and locks in the moisture. Um, the Jamaican black castor oil, it promotes hair growth as we all know. With argan oil, it fights frizz and it adds shine to your hair. And this is my DIY carrot oil. Carrot oil helps stimulate the hair growth, so that's why I chose that. And for my water phase, um, I chose olive vera juice because it's a natural pH balancer. And for my additives, I'm going to go in with Brahmi powder, which helps repair the hair strands and improve circulation. Henna powder, it conditions that helps it's a it's like a natural conditioner that helps damage hair and ashwagandha it helps reduce hair fall and makes the hair shinier and it may reverse graying hair um and fenugreek powder it promotes hair growth and it strengthens and it strengthens the roots and the follicles of the hair amla powder it reduces hair loss and provides thickness and for my emulsion phase i'm using emulsifying wax which is vegetable derived and for my preservative preservative I'm gonna go on with Optifin plus which is paraben free I'm gonna go in and um that was that spray bottle had alcohol and I just sprayed down everything that I was going to be using and I'm going to go in with the coconut oil and I'm going to add that and with that I'm going to add in the powders and I also went in with my emulsifying wax this is all going to get melted down so I went on and put that on the stove I used the double boiler me method so it won't have direct heat and with all of my um, liquid oils that's liquid at room temp I went ahead and measured those out and I will have the measurements down below in the description gonna set that aside and I'm gonna go in and measure my olive oil juice a couple minutes later everything is melted down and I don't think all the powder like fully melted down with it but that'll be okay it's gonna all get blended up and I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and add in my um, liquid oils
And I'm going to go ahead and go in and add the, um, the olive oil juice and I'm going to start blending that up. And it immediately turned into a thick consistency, which was kind of a shock to me, but it's not too alarming. It's, that's not a bad thing. And I'm going to go in with my shea butter and go ahead and add that in. Now, I didn't melt my shea butter down because um, I had experience with melting it down before and it was kind of a grainy texture. So I decided not to melt it down this time. And I'm going to go in and just use a mixer and let that whip up into like kind of a fluffy consistency, like a creamier texture. Um, I left it whipping for like a good five minutes, maybe. And during my cool down phase, this is the cool down phase. I already checked the temperature and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and go on with my preser preservative and add that in. And I'm going to scrape everything that got onto the side so that could get fully blended in. And yeah, I'm just going to blend that for a little bit more. And yeah. Okay, this is optional, but I went in with a couple of um, essential oils and... Because I at first, I didn't like the fenugreek smell because that overpowered everything. The fenugreek smell is like a maple syrupy smell. I'm pretty sure you heard someone say it before. But yeah, that's exactly how it smells. And I didn't like it at first. Okay, so now that you guys seen the video, this is freshly washed hair. So I decided to go with the Suave Leave-In Conditioner. Oh. This is not the leave-in conditioner. Okay, here we are. I decided to go with the Suave leave-in conditioner. I'm going to follow up with my DIY oil. Okay, so if you don't know from my previous videos, I like to let the leave-in conditioner and the oil air dry my hair before I go back in and twist up my hair and apply the cream. But before we get any further, during this during the series i'm gonna give you guys a length check i should have did a trim before i started this but oh well so this is the front so What happened? Mind your business, okay? But, oh, it ain't that bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in and do my twist out. I right have the consistency, the consistency of this product. Uh, test it out on my hair. Okay, I feel like this would be a good, a good butter, like not a twisting cream, but a moisturizing cream. I don't really have faith in this holding my twist, but we're going to try it out anyway. If you do decide to make this, I would recommend using it on that pier. Okay, so this may not be a good twisting cream, but it's a great moisturizer and look how shiny my twists are. They might not come out defined, but 
they're moisturized and that's all that matters, okay? Ready, I will see you guys in the morning. I'm about to hit the sack. You guys have a good night. And I'm gonna have a okay night. We just go we just go snatch it off. Okay, well I have high porosity hair, so I knew this was gonna happen. I knew my hair was going to soak up most of that moisture. But as you can see, it has a nice little shine to it. Um, my only worry and concern was if it was gonna be greasy, like, and it's not. Okay, it's not it's not the best, but it is there. So okay, it's decent. Um, I could tell that it, it don't got a lot of holes. To be honest, um, this ain't that bad. If you want more like a stronger hold, then I would go for something else. But you could probably even put this on top of that for like an extra moisture booster or something. These are her results. But yeah, um, this is actually pretty good for like a light to medium hold for a twist out. This video is done and over with, so I will see you guys in the next video. Before you click out of this video, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment your thoughts below and maybe hop on a journey with me. Alright you guys.